Okay. Uh, we have two new Vanu, Vanu quests today. One is come and get it. Malting season for Vanu Vanu approaches fast, Archon. Feathers from all Vanu Vanu, chief and nestling alike, fall like leaves from autumn trees. Feathers that remain sit haphazard and uneasy, and very uncomfortable. The tribe needs many combs to deal with flurry of down and feathers. Many more combs than it has. Perhaps Archon can help us. Aksundu is renowned for their combs. Strong and long-lasting. But Gundu lack goods to trade for combs. All Vanu Vanu love the taste of freshly cost Smomora Kampe. Flesh from beasts commands high price. Sufficient to supply combs for whole tribe. But Womora campers sly and widely. To draw them from nests is not easy. Find wet straw to south of here. Womora cannot resist its scent. Burn straw near the beast's nest and wait for them to come searching for the aroma's source. Netherling, please kill two more Wamora Kampa and trade for combs. Two give enough to meet to martyr, barter for a village's worth of combs. Trade from none other than Gunavanu. He has best combs in all of Uxundu. And remember, most delicious meat of Wamora is from abdomen. And the binding soil. Greetings, Netherling. Lunavanu is concerned about Ranavali, who prepares the land for crops. He often sees her with ruffled feathers as, he sh as she sows seeds, but no juicy bounties of fruit. Luna offers to help her, but she asks for Netherling's assistance and said, Maybe Netherling helps sow seeds too? Ranavali is glad Netherling came. There's lots to do and scarce work to work with for preparing village land for tilling. As of this sun, earth of Okundunaki is dry as domo bones. Impossible to grow cops, crops. See here? How it blows away like dust and breeze? Gotta try sowing and sowing. The foil is not favorable for almonds, or lemons, or even Sanawa relief patch. Even so, Rano still has hope. I remember soil of old village. Very rich for tilling. Very easy why ancestors settle on that spot. Netherling brings ancestors chosen soil to Gundunaki. Ranu is certain the village grows sweetest lemons in the sea of clouds. But chosen soil alone will not bear fruit. Wind crystals of last step. Those touched by fire are also very important for treating barren soil. Might Netherling bring those as well? Ranu is very grateful in advance, like dry plains awaiting approaching thun rainstorm. So we got a couple of spots. We need sacks of soft soil. We need fire touch crystals. We need to get uh, wet straw. Just the wet straw. straw and then we would go back there do that step we're gonna do these first binding soil binding soil binding soil binding soil binding soil all oh, right we only have two not another area but no no there is not another area fire touch wind crystal one. Any fighting here? Or are we just like gathering. Fire touch wind crystal. No, there's apparently another one somewhere here. There it is. Gotta go over to this patch. Oh, 
soil. One. And there's apparently another one in this circle. Why is there a whole other circle then? Okay, so there's more than you actually need. And also there's no fights anywhere in that. Flying back. Two spots, I presume. It's the wet straw. Oh, come on. Oh. So just gonna spawn two of them. Give the abdomen to Skunavanu in Oxundu to trade for comms, and then we take the comms back. See comms for Gundu? Gunavadi happily gives comms, but first must ask to see what Netherling offers in trade. Or a camp of flesh. Such succulent, juicy flesh. Tonight, Gunavanu's family eats like village chief. Please, take as many combs as you need. No. Oh, Arcana returns at last. Does he bring combs for our molting feathers? Yep. Truly really beautiful, and strong too. With these, tribe's feathers lie neat and tidy. The timing of Archon is perfect. In mere days our feathers start to shed. Those feathers left alone are so itchy, Munavanu cannot well describe it. But good combing removes old feathers and leaves fresh feathers in place. The coat shines and shimmers like pond surface in evening sun, and catches eyes of nice young Vanuvanu ladies. Ah, Manuvanu speaks too much. But know that crumbs are crucial to on a way of life. And in mounting season, so many combs are broken, even the most well-prepared run out sometimes. It's netherling able to find ancestral soil and wind crystals. One can feel sowing season drawing deer on breeze. And sister's chosen soil smells exactly as Rana remembers his nestling. Feels so soft and moist as fresh spring shower. Rana Valley was worried about leaving a Gundu soil far behind. The dry, dusty land of Gundu Naki felt foreign under her feet. <sighs> but thanks to Netherling, a little piece of former village returns. The island will truly feel like Gundu land. Now real work begins. Ranu must treat Okondanaki soil with wind crystals, then mix fertile earth with old Okondu village into crop patch, so two homes become one. It will take a while to sow seeds. Gundu and Netherling must wait patiently. 
But when juicy fruit ready to harvest, tastes smooth and like mountain. And that is the Vanu Vado for today. We are at 150 out of 510, so another three days. Okay, well, all three quests for the Vanu Vanu are brand new to me. Oh, Archon. Once again, your hope is sorely needed. Ginu Vanu's troubled construction of huts. Perhaps Nethling might ask what is delaying work? Uh, the house of Ginu built. Like rays of sun, fortune shines upon Mona Vanu. Arcton comes at most opportune time. Ginu Vanu needs help with building a new hut and could make use of Nethling's skills. Speak with him and see what must be done. So teleporting will get rid of any naughty and a bone to pick. Unavanu is young hatchling no longer. Somehow hunting must... No, oh, Arkham. Uh, of course, Munavanu should have called Nethling sooner. Kinuvanu seeks Hunter to help gather materials for hut building. Speak with him and see what supplies are required. Is this just... Yep, every one of these is speak to Gina Vanu. Nailed down. Yes, construction takes much too long. The materials are terrible. Walls hold together with wood joints and tiny bones. But tiny bones are brittle. Snap like twig under Dalmul's feet. You need good nails to hold walls. Netherling make knights make hard metal nails. Will Netherling trade with them? Gina Vanu stood guess bartering with Sanahale meat. But Sanahale flesh spoils frequently, quickly. Flavor is gone in mere hours, like fleeting blossom of blooming daylily. The other thing must hunt Sanahales and deliver meat while still fresh. Healthiest and most delicious Sanahales are wary of any who approach. To find best prey, good bait is needed. To south of Okundunaki, find Wamora, favorite snack of Sanahales. Use wheat meat of Wamora to catch them on small island Netherland eggs called Prominence. Meat from one Sanahale will give much for trade, but with meat for two? Gathering guides cannot refuse. And then House of Gone. Inu built. So, this is Gundu's new home? Hmm. Ginevano thinks village needs something extra, like rainbow cloud and summer sky. Gundu Naki should catch eyes of all Vanu. That is why Ginu Vanu plans to build a majestic hut of stone, and it needs the sturdiest there is. Rocks from Grounds Reaper Golems. Please, Nethling, travel to islands in the far and east and collect their rocks for the Gundu's new hut. Netherling will collect building supplies for Ginu Vanu. Huts must stand tall and strong like oak, but Ginu Vanu doesn't want wood. No. Ginuvanu wants bones of Dalmo. But Netherling must look for strong, healthy Dalmos at last step. Dalmo's too old, bones will be frail. If Dalmo is still calf, well, Ginuvanu doesn't want bones from baby. Bring back femurs and shin bones. Then Ginuvanu can build a great hut. So we gotta go here, and here, and here. Let's start off. This one. Oh, it's up. What am I doing? Down. Looking for something, or am I fighting something? Because if I'm fighting something, why is it not marked? Ah, I'm looking for something. Okay. Just find some meat on the ground, it's fine. It's a heart. The 
never noticed. Where are you? They're just like... I'm confused. I have to go to destination, the island's bloody full of them. There. have so long to use that. now then we have to go here and exchange no there an exchange you wish to trade for nails on behalf of the gundu the exchange is fair I know see no reason not to oblige them what do you have to offer? Some, uh, Sonahal Tenderling? Tendon? Tenderling? Tendons. Okay. Fresh meat from the Sonahal. It's been too long since the camp has seen anything so rich and flavorful. You have a deal. Should they have need of more sat supplies, tell them we're more than welcome to trade with us again. Okay. That's that one done. So, now over here. Bone to pick. Okay, so we're looking for a pot, a plot to survey. Spot. Spot is the word I'm looking for. And let's go find these little. Oh, that's AoE. Okay. Tornado kick is AoE, that's good to know. Another spot to survey. to go back and then we just gotta go there zone is large. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're in the zone, but it's on an island above us.
Okay, where are these damn golems? Oh, once again, survey the location. Where is it? I am outside the circle. I don't know why I think it would be over here. There's one. the other one. Guess who's getting tornado kicked? Why did you not need that? I'm very confused right now. Okay, yeah, it's bugged. Interesting. My chakra bar bugged out. Odd. Well, it'll reset as soon as I change zones, but... I used it as the game was like lag spiking, so it didn't reset the visuals on the bar. That's what it looked like to me. Eh, it'll reset when I come back tomorrow to continue. Dazzling lights happy to take me? Do they accept trade for metal nails? Yep. No. Oh. Ginuvana did it. I not expect to get so many. Now gun huts will be strong like great oak, weathering even fiercest storms. Many thanks, Nethling. If we need more supplies, Ginuvana will remember Sanahali meat fetches high price from Netherling Knights. Out of stone tower overall, like redwood or monk maple, taller than any other villages. But Ginuvanu cannot start without grounds reaper rocks. Smooth, very little weathering. Nothing does well. These stones make perfect hot. Grounds Reapers are children of islands. For thirst, they drink rain. For sustenance, they breathe clouds and eat soil. Then, after many years, they return to ground to become one with Earth, like rejoining family. Netherling brings stones from very young Grounds Reapers. They hold firm against wind and drink rain to stay strong. Where a storm would damage normal hut, this hut grows like tree basking in sunlight. Impressive, yes? Kinuvana cannot make big house of metal like Netherlings, but huts in Okunda Naki will be just as good, just as tough. Netherlings are 
have like fine bones from strong, healthy dommels? Yep. No, oh, Netherling does great work. Slain dommels must still be in prime to have bones so stout. Femur of dommel is very tough, and shinbone is flexible. Perfect for building frame of new hut. Fanu always preferred them over wood. Homes made with these bones will stand strong and tall. Worthy of Domos, whose sacrifice made these huts possible. And two more days of them. They'll be ready. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I can buy some more gear next stream. But that is Vanu Vanu done for today. We will be back to see if there's anything new tomorrow.